Good morning. I am about to go to my workout class. I have to go to the 5 a.m. class because I have to be in the city by 8 a.m. So I wanted to get my workout in and I figured this would be a good time to bring you all along for my day in my life. All right, let's get started. 5 a.m. workout class. Woo! <laughs> necessary. Mm -hmm. Extremely happy to have a companion that wakes up at 4.30 with me. You mean someone who is as nuts as you? Yep. That's me. Alright, we're officially done with our workout. We're nice and sweaty. Dying. The 6 a.m. class is already starting. It's still dark out. And we're going about our day. I forgot to buy coffee yesterday, so I think we're gonna have to find a a coffee shop to get some coffee. Or coffee, as us New Yorkers say it. One scoop for me. Whoops. The best coffee ever. People are gonna be like, why are you putting water in it? Because it's cold, Bruce, you have to dilute it. I don't want a yeah. ton of half and half. It's concentrated, it's super strong. It's super concentrated cold brew, and I don't like to fill my whole entire coffee with half and half, so I dilute it a little bit with water. Michael just likes a little bit. I like mine creamy. So what's it to ya? Wait, we have to cheers. All right, so I am ready for work, or I should say I'm ready for my training. Actually, you guys don't really know what I'm doing today. So I am going into the city for a training at my job. We are introducing a new product into our practice. It's called Bellafil. It is used as a dermal filler. So we are going to have a training about the product and specifically using it in the temple area. So I'm going to give a little presentation on the anatomy of the temple area and and then we are going to use the product on our model patients. I feel like this week I've been in Manhattan so often. Monday I was there, yesterday was Tuesday, I was not there. Today is Wednesday, I'm going into the city. Thursday I'll be home or in Jersey, and then Friday I'll be back in the city along with Saturday. That being said, today I typically work from home, but since we have a training, I'll be heading into Manhattan. Also, I don't know how to dress for this weather. Like this is, I guess, my transitional fall, summer, outfit it's a little bit colorful but it isn't super bright feels like fall but it's still super hot I hate this transition weather before I go I know I get a lot of questions on what I typically eat in a day usually I don't have breakfast I used to be always a breakfast person but as I got older I kind of have my coffee and then by like 11 I eat something but since I won't be home I'm gonna make a smoothie and take it with me so let's go make that smoothie all right now it's time to make our smoothie. So, yogurt, almond milk, frozen fruits and vegetables, and my acai packet. So just a little FYI, I'll usually get these two when they're on sale at Whole Foods. This is from Trader Joe's, the unsweetened acai packet. Whole Foods has them as well. I'll get either Trader Joe's or Whole Foods brand of the vanilla unsweetened almond milk. And regarding the yogurt, sometimes I will use a dairy-free option. Sometimes I'll use regular dairy. I'm not opposed to having dairy or I still eat dairy, I should say. So let's make my smoothie on the smoothing setting putting my thing in here and let's begin <laughs> I think it's a sneaker dress day. This helps my outfit be a little bit more transitional. All right guys, this is my first vlog, so I am definitely not a professional at this. Michael is a professional and knows how to curate them into really fun and aesthetically pleasing vlogs. Clearly, I wasn't even looking into my camera. Anyway, just want to point that out there. The vessels that we're really, really concerned about are the superficial temporal artery. It has two branches, which is the frontal and the parietal. You can put more in, absolutely. Just go in a different plane. Just go a little deeper, so there's not too much together. 
All right, guys, so I just came back from my training. I had to come back home because I had some virtual consults to do. So that's what I've been doing also at home while also doing some admin stuff and then also building up some medical training manuals as well. So that being said, I have a few more virtuals to do. Other than that, I will piece of hair. I will probably start making some dinner. I usually meal prep and I didn't have time yesterday. So today I'll meal prep for the rest of the week and that's really it. All right, I'll catch you later. Okay, so this is my office space. I should say, or the second bedroom. In our apartment, I have my desk here and this is where I work from home. As you can see, it's coming along. We have the bed. And I have the desk. This is Michael's old desk from the city. And I just need a chair and I have to do something on this desk and decorate it. It's kind of sad. I also need a nightstand right here. Maybe some photos or something. We have to make this bedroom a little bit more spicy. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up doing my virtuals, work on our provider manual that we're making. And yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. All right, I'll catch you later. All right guys, so I am officially done with my work day. I finished all my virtuals and I was working on the JEC provider manual. So I was including all that information that we learned today at our training to that actual manual. I did a few virtuals today. Essentially, it's a lot of new patients who one, maybe new to aesthetics and would like to learn about aesthetics and different treatments that we specifically offer. Or two, it's patients who already had treatments done prior elsewhere and they just wanna learn more about us and what we recommend and our opinion. So it's essentially, it's a full face consultation and we work our way through wrinkle reducers, dermal fillers, and skin treatments. Essentially what works best for those specific patients. Other than that, I am going to get dinner started. We all know Michael does not cook, so that is left to me. What are we making today? I went food shopping yesterday, so I have fresh tomatoes from the garden that my mom gave me. So I figured it'd be good if I, okay, Dr. Cellini came. So I figured it would be good if I use those tomatoes and make a fresh tomato sauce with some paleo turkey meatballs. The reason why they're paleo is because I'll use almond flour instead of instead of breadcrumbs. Guess it's healthier in a way, but I like to mix around my cooking between paleo versus non-paleo. It's just kind of what I was in the mood for. Actually also almond flour just makes the meatballs really moist. So I'm going to make a fresh sauce with some turkey meatballs and zoodles. Michael is on a diet, so he is requesting a healthy meal. Also peep, I don't know, you claim you are. Peep those shelves there that we have to put up oh, in yeah. our bathroom. I'm gonna get out of this stress and put on some comfy clothes and start cooking. All right guys, change of plan. It's too late to make meatballs. So I'm gonna make a Wait, meat we're not, sauce. We're not making meatballs? I'm making turkey bolognese instead. Oh. Oh, okay, I guess someone wants meatballs. You want meatballs? No, I like bolognese. I'm okay with that. But I'm gonna help you make this better. Wow, Dr. Cellini is helping me make dinner. Guys, this is, I mean, this I is. <laughs> I totally do in front of the camera, right? This is crazy. He's helping me cook dinner. Michael, should we make meatballs or bolognese? What's easier, bolognese? I mean, yeah, but it's whatever you feel like. What do we feel like having? We can make bolognese. All right, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Before we even begin cooking, we gotta turn on the music. Oh look, it's already on. All right, we have some of our fresh ingredients for our sauce. How would you rate your bolognese so far, babe? Mmm, not my favorite. Okay. I don't think the tomatoes were as sweet. I prefer a sweeter sauce. I don't think the tomatoes were as sweet. I also used turkey breast instead of just regular mixed dark and white meat. And when you use the breast, it does make your sauce a little more dry and 
taste less but healthier. So I don't know if I would do the breast only. Moment of truth. Mmm, great tasting. It's not as red. I think it's the tomatoes. They're not as good? No. So you're disappointed? Yeah. So it probably still tastes good though. All right guys, kitchen is clean. We finished dinner, it actually came out pretty good. Not gonna lie, even though the tomatoes weren't super sweet and we used turkey breast, which is very, very, very lean and dry, it still came out super tasty. Anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog right now. This is essentially a day in the life, but the at home slash training version of what I do, not the in-person clinical aspect. So I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna go look up some hotels because Michael and I are planning a trip. We're planning on going to Europe. So hopefully everything turns out okay. But yeah, we're gonna go scout out some hotels and plan it out. So before I end this video, smash that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you all on my next vlog. Oh, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Bye.